They need, of course, they need their school supplies. Mm -hmm. They need those new clothes. Got to get those checkups too at the doctor. Yeah, one thing that uh, can be a little bit easy to forget about is an eye exam. And Dr. Mark Lobanoff from North Suburban Eye Specialist is here to talk a little bit about eye care for kids. This is the guy, of course, who did my LASIK live yeah. on television. And I always say <laughs> that if he can do LASIK with producers, cameras, and time cues on me and my eyes are perfect, he can do it on anybody. This is the guy that made me better looking. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks so much, Dr. Lobanoff. It's a great intro. We're starting out with a little quiz here. Okay? We are. We are. And the quiz question is, at what age should kids get their first eye exam? And so Six okay, months, one to three years, four to six years, or 12 years. Well, I probably don't think until they're 12. I would think on the low end. I would say six months. Oh. I mean, you want to know what your kid has for eyes, right? <laughs> right off the bat. Yeah. That's exactly right. And six months is the correct answer. Are you serious? Yes, that absolutely is correct. Wow. We want to be able to check and find out if there's any problems early on. And kids, as they're developing, as they're growing larger, their brains are developing, their visual systems are developing. So it's very important that we know that they have good vision as they get older. And so we really recommend that they come in at six months get their first exam. Do most people really do that or do they wait longer? <laughs> you see all sorts of, uh, uh, you see some people that come in much later, yeah. but really what we recommend is six months. Okay. And that's you guys are smart kids. because the kid, the baby at that point can't be like, you'd be like, how many fingers am I holding up? And they'll tell you three, <laughs> you know? So, so what are you looking for there? Really we're looking for making sure that kids can see their environment, that mm -hmm. they can reach for objects, that they can see objects with both eyes, that they're using both eyes together. And when we get them in the office, we're checking for any medical conditions. So we're looking for signs of congenital cataracts, cataracts that occur at a very early age, mm -hmm. or glaucoma, or certain tumors. So we're really ruling out some, some dangerous conditions and making sure the child is healthy. So maybe a good idea is if you're going in for your annual eye exam, make a you know, appointment for your baby too. Exactly. To go in together. Okay. Exactly. So I know um, you brought some cute glasses <laughs> options for kids because if if your child has, um, you know, maybe some vision problems early on, they probably start with glasses over contacts, right? Yes, usually they do. Mm -hmm. And for many years, the options that kids had for glasses were ugly and terrible. And then they're, <laughs> called, and then they're called four eyes in school and that's yeah. not good. And you shouldn't have called them that. No, I know that's that was awful. me. That was Sorry. Cool. Yeah. All but, right. So but those days are, are long gone. Yeah. Nowadays, kids can actually choose designer glasses and we have a variety of, of choices right here, but they come in all sorts of fun colors and designs and kids nowadays are actually excited to wear these glasses mm -hmm. as opposed to the old days where they may have been made fun of. They're almost a fashion accessory now. And it's important that they see well. So we want the kids to be excited to wear their glasses so that their vision is good and they are seeing well in school. I think that is the, probably the best reason to make them like a cool, fun oh, thing yeah. is know, so that they're excited to wear them and they're not like wearing them off to school and then shoving them in the backpack. I That's think right. of uh, our own uh, Rebecca Wood, her yeah. kids. And she's got, a, she's got her little daughter Hathaway, is six years old uh -huh. now. She's got glasses. People just think she's adorable and she's so proud of those glasses. <laughs> she looks good. And they remind me, she's got some pink ones yeah, like you've got over there. she does have some just like that. Those are very, very cute. What about context then? At what point do you think they can start wearing contacts? Each child is different mm -hmm. and the parents can kind of work with us and let us know how mature they feel their child is and if they're responsible enough to take care of the contacts. Contacts can be a bit more dangerous mm -hmm. because you have to take care of them correctly, they have to be stored properly, cleaned properly. So for a lot of kids that's maybe in their early teens, for some kids perhaps a little earlier, perhaps as early as eight years of age. But Every single child is different, and the doctor will help make that assessment with the parents. Yeah. You have some concerns, though, with college students in context? I do. Uh, this is the time of year. College students are heading back to school, and there's a lot of late nights. They've got a lot on their plates, and they tend not and to And a take lot of their glass sometimes. And, that's right. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> that's exactly right. Yeah. And so sometimes taking care of those contacts is not really their first priority. Mm -hmm. But it's important for parents to try to help them stay uh, vigilant about caring for the contacts. Don't wear them overnight. You don't want to sleep in the contact lenses. You want to make sure that these college students are getting a yearly eye exam so that we know that the contacts are up to date. Also that they have an up-to-date pair of glasses so that at the end of the day when they want to take their contacts out, they actually can see they're going to use the glasses. Yeah. And, um, supplying the student with a year of supply of contacts and contact lens solution so that they're not using the sink to clean their contacts, they're not using... Uh, yeah. Are they the worst offenders for poorly taking care of your contacts? By far. College kids, yeah. By far. And what can happen if you don't take good care of them? Because I think a lot of college kids are just like, whatever, my eyes are dry, I'll just put some <laughs> drops in. Wow. Well, a lot of the college students, wow. they, they feel yeah. invincible. Um, but the problem is if you wear the contacts too much, not enough oxygen gets to the uh, cornea, 
and you can develop blood vessel growth into the cornea, you can get scarring, you can get infections and ulcers. So you can actually develop some very permanent problems with the eyes. So scare your children and make sure that they, that they are wearing them properly. Really, you have to tell them about the serious stuff. You do, you do. This is, this is one issue where parents really do want to stay on top of their college students and make sure that they are taking care of their eyes. Mm -hmm. But you do LASIK eye surgery. How about for kids? Would you recommend that for kids? We get the question a lot, when can someone have LASIK? How, how young of an age can they have LASIK? And young kids, it's just not a good option. Mm -hmm. The youngest that we recommend LASIK is age 18. Okay. Uh, until that point, the kids are still growing, the eyes are still growing, the vision is usually changing. We recommend age 18 is the youngest. Yeah, and you know what's funny is because my eyes didn't start to get bad until I was 18. So that I think that shows how it can they can really start to change. I didn't need glasses until I was in college. And, and a quick right. question too about that in regards to kind of the same thing. When you see your vision, well, so to speak, <laughs> starting to fail, Yes. is it that if you're interested in LASIK surgery and you don't want this to happen, should you go for it then? Is there a certain point where you wait for it to develop into something worse? If you're struggling with your vision, it's a good idea to come in and have an exam. And at our clinic, we have free LASIK evaluations. We evaluate the entire eye, we make sure it's healthy. If the prescription has been changing, we may ask you to come back in six months mm -hmm. or a year, and we can see, is that prescription changing a lot? In which case, we'll wait until it stops changing, and then it's safe to have LASIK. But if it does seem to be consistent over six months or 12 months, then we might recommend LASIK at that time. Very good. good. Dr. Thanks, Lovenoff. Dr. Lovenoff. Oh, it's interesting. Thank you. Uh, uh, North Suburban Eye Specialist, they're a sponsor of Twin Cities Live. They've got locations in Cooten Rapids and Blaine. The eyeglasses that we featured today are from Optical Studios. It's a partner of North Suburban. So cute. You can check our website for a link to their website Almost as well. makes me want to have glasses again, but not really, <laughs> not totally. No, not quite. Hey, uh, coming up, how you could write something for this year's Emmy Awards. Pretty cool.